I was curious if with a signed contract that we have, a standard purchase and sale agreement signed, a buyer's or a seller's kind of ghosting me, it seemed like. Mm. I know you had mentioned before that a seller cannot make a buyer buy. Mm -hmm. However, technically a buyer could make a seller sell with a signed contract. Mm -hmm. I mean, is it worth kind of pursuing like, Hey, a hole, you know, you signed this agreement. We have a contract. Sell me your house. Well, WTF. Well, right now you just have, it sounds like a communication issue. You just can't get a hold of him. He hasn't told you, I don't want to sell. Correct. Right. That's right. So, you know, I was kind of talking about, hey, next steps are going to be this. I'm going to order a preliminary title search. Go ahead and, you know, send me some photos. We're going to get a video. You know, hey, as far as access to the property, what do you think? So he hasn't been responsive. So I just sent him an email say, hey, you know, give me a call sometime. Make it general. And yeah. so he replies, okay, yeah, we'll do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay. never calls. Well, it sounds like he's still in the game then. It sounds like okay. he's okay. He's just busy. And he yeah. doesn't have time for you. <laughs> and technically, I feel like maybe I'm rushing him because his timeline is more like 90 days because yeah. he's moving out of state. Um, he's going to find a place to rent. So he just may not be ready, right? So. Well, uh, yeah. I, I mean, if I were in your shoes, just based on what you've said here, and, you know, maybe I don't understand the full context because I'm not the one that's in it, but I would just keep doing what you're doing, marketing the property and trying to find a buyer. Gotcha. And just, you know, maybe he's the kind of guy that doesn't respond right away. And that's just how he does it, you know? Like mm -hmm. different people respond in different ways. And maybe some people prefer text or phone or email or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, but you could okay. just ask him, hey, you want me to email you? Just some, you know, what's the best way to communicate? I feel like I haven't heard from you in a while. If you, if you want to, you know, press mm -hmm. the issue. Sure, sure. It might not be a big deal, you know? I don't know. Okay. That's good. Um, it sounds like, though, just from the way we do business, like, we don't necessarily sweat about, hey, what's up with this contract? WTF, we just move on if the seller ghosts us. You know, it's not really worth pursuing trying to force this contract. Yeah, I mean, well, if a seller comes back and says, no, I don't want to sell, Okay, well, what's the reason? Are they just trying to cut you out of the deal and they found the buyer on their own? That might be a time, and, and it's like a really smoking hot deal. You're going to make a bunch of money on it. That might mm -hmm. be a time to force the issue. Okay. Whatever that means in that particular instance. Um, you know, as far as like, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could sue the seller and make them sell it to you. It gets ugly though. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend, I, I don't know. Like, that's always a last resort in my mind. Um, or, you know, I've had it in the past where the seller called me three days after the contract was signed and he said, hey, I changed my mind. And then I just reminded him that we had a, an agreement. Mm -hmm. And I told him that, you know, he could uh, buy me out of the contract. So he sent, I can't remember how much he sent me, maybe just a thousand bucks or whatever, just to cover huh. my costs. But, Interesting. you know, yeah, I mean, Lots of ways you could do it.